What's going on, y'all? Check me out here. And today, what we're gonna be talking about is the Huawei P40 Pro. I've never used a Huawei device, I've always wanted to. So I was pretty excited when Huawei reached out to partner with me for this video. So when I first took this phone out of the box, I was blown away. <laughs> blown away. What? So when I first took this phone out the box, I was blown away by two things. The design, like, you know, the way it felt in hand, and the display. The colors are super vibrant, everything's really sharp, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that this display has like a very unique design. You'll notice the edges actually spill not only over the sides, but also the top and the bottom, which I'm happy to say that I thankfully haven't had any accidental touches, you know, because sometimes with the design like that, your fingers naturally rest in areas that interfere with your usage of the phone by doing like accidental touches. But before we go any further in this video, if you've been enjoying it, you can, you know, feel free to venture down below and hit that subscribe button and that like button if you feel inclined to. So the P40 Pro comes in a couple of different colors, but I was able to get the, oh, let me clean that. I was able to get the blush gold option, which, oh my gosh. Oh. It's probably overexposed, but it just looks so premium. It looks so nice. And even though we have this extensive camera system on the back, they still managed to fit it into what I would like to consider a small package, especially compared to some that have a similar design. It's present, but it's not huge. So let's talk about the setup that I have on my phone. Although it does lack the Google Play Store, these are the apps that I have on my phone that I was able to get using three different resources. So I use the Huawei App Gallery. I also used an app called Pedal Search for apps that I couldn't find in the app gallery. And then I used more apps as well. So between those three, I was able to get like my, you know, essential apps. And I'm still exploring and building on to the apps that I have up here and such. But basically this is what I set up so far. So on my home screen, outside of the default apps, I did install Google Maps, Amazon. No, I got to have my Amazon. Because if you know, you know. Meaning if you follow the channel, then you know already how I feel about Amazon. Now YouTube, I wasn't able to download the app for that, but I was able to get a shortcut to the mobile website. So if I tap on that, it's just gonna launch YouTube in my web browser, which is Google Chrome. I'm also using, you know, the default gallery app. And then I have my social apps. So I got Instagram. I'm so close to 10K y'all, which means I then finally, finally can do the swipe up action on my Instagram stories. So if you don't follow me up there and you wanna, you know, be kind and support, definitely go ahead and check it out. Give me a follow. I also have Telegram, Twitter, TikTok, and video downloader. So video download is pretty cool because it will actually let you download videos from Instagram. So you don't have to do the screen recording and all of that. Then I also have Tidal because I had a little trouble finding Spotify and Apple Music. So I did use Tidal in the past and I figured why not give it a try now. So I got that as my music player. And then I have, you know, my apps that I use to find apps. <laughs> Uh, Netflix so I can you know enjoy my TV shows email to check my email I also have Feedly to get my tech news one note for all of my documents because you can just do so much in one note it's the app that I mentioned just constantly up here I love it it's much like a five-star notebook with tabs that have your subjects and then pages that has the content for those subjects it's been very useful for me because I'm constantly on different devices and OneNote is one app that thankfully is offered on all of them. I also have Amazon Prime Video, Zara, Music, which is the default music player up here, Home Workouts, cause you know, we gotta get in that fitness. Quarantine weight is real. <laughs> I refuse to be a victim of it. <laughs> also have Microsoft Office and then some camera apps that I'm still exploring. I have Lightroom to edit my photos. I have a podcast app and Wally for my wallpapers cause Wally has all the wallpapers. Like I literally have to remind myself that we're not gonna be sitting here downloading wallpapers all day because if I don't put that restriction there, I will be. <laughs> then I have my games folder. So these are a couple of games that I've been enjoying. Then I have a folder for dual space. So with this device, with certain apps, you can only log into one account at a time. But with dual space, it'll let you log into multiple accounts at once. Then I have my tools folder, which is basically where I threw everything <laughs> that I'm not gonna probably be using on a regular. Files, tap scanner. So I have a built-in scanner in my phone. Shazam, because anytime I hear a song that I like, I probably want to download it. Then I have Cam Scanner HP Smart to connect to my HP printer so I can be at the top of my printing game. Uh, Disney Plus and OneDrive, which 
serves as a cloud for some of my files. But thus far, I've been enjoying my experience, especially when it comes to that camera. So we got three cameras along the back here, an ultra wide, a wide angle, and then a telephoto. And I gotta say, I was just blown away by the quality of the pictures when I was testing this out. This a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a All right, so I'm testing the front facing camera on the P40 Pro. It's about like 6, 6 30, so it isn't quite dark. Still a lot of light out here. I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but let's hope that I am. This is aperture mode. Um, using the internal mic. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm hot. <laughs> Stay hot out here. I wore pants today though, cause mosquitoes. I actually think you can take this down to an aperture of 0.95, but the preview that I saw of aperture mode for video looks freaking awesome. I'm, I'm very impressed, I gotta say. So I'm interested to see how it looks on the computer. And there's so many unique features within the camera app, like light painting. Now when it comes to video recording, you do have the option to record in 4K on your front and your rear facing camera. Now low light photos, yeah. Those look really good up here, especially if you couple it with something like a tripod, which is basically what I took along with me for my photo shoot. Um, oh, I didn't know you could do that. I was literally getting bit up by mosquitoes, y'all, and was still out there shooting because I was just having a great time playing with that camera and that tripod there. <laughs> Now something that kind of gets slept on with the built-in camera app is the interface. How easy is it to navigate? Things felt really intuitive and I didn't have to Google, you know, <laughs> how to access certain features. Which speaking of, there are a couple of features in here that are pretty unique. Such as the AI remover passerby feature, which is going to remove someone that's walking through the back of your photo, which y'all, this, <laughs> when it's obvious you're taking a photo and somebody could walk around and then they have the audacity to walk in the back of your photo. <laughs> now you can remove them. There's also something built in here known as dual view, which is going to basically capture content using two cameras at once. So this is gonna give you some versatility without you having to do the manual labor to get it. But day to day, you know, performance up here has been great. The battery has lived up to the hype and it is phenomenal. Now, for those that are curious about storage, it does come with 128 gigs, but you can expand it up to 256. Oh, and one thing that I thought was kind of cool is the knuckle feature. So basically you can do things like two knocks with your knuckle and it's gonna take a screenshot which is really useful, you know, when you're flowing and everything, you see something, instead of having to reposition your hands to grab a screenshot, just take your hand, knock your phone twice, boom, you're done. You can even draw with your knuckle to take a screenshot of a specific area. And when it comes to screen recording, you can do two knocks with two knuckles and it will start recording your screen. This for me was clutch because especially when I'm doing these camera comparisons, I'm typically already hot and just ready to be done. So anything that can speed up that workflow, <laughs> I'm on it. You can also do a scrolling screenshot by drawing an S with your knuckle, or you can do a grab shot, and that's gonna let you use like air gestures to literally grab a screenshot. And with the flick of a wrist, you can do air scroll, which is gonna let you scroll up and down without ever touching your screen. So with the lack of the Google Play Store, you do have some limitations, but I was able to get a you know decent amount of apps using those three sources. So I'm still exploring things up here, but I will say, especially for my power users out there that you know like to customize everything, <laughs> you can for sure do that up here by downloading the APKs for the apps that you want. And even if you're more of a minimal casual app user, there's still possibilities in using this phone as well. You can get a decent amount done. And of course, you know, there is that potential transition there and, you know, getting things over. But you can use Phone Clone to get your information and your apps from your old phone to your new one. It is worth noting that the Huawei app gallery is constantly expanding. Like if you happen to search for an app and it's not available in the app gallery, you can select add and it will put it on your wish list so that when the developer does make the app available, it can instantly download onto your phone if you, you know, enable that option for it to do so, of course. Which I definitely did because I don't want to have to keep searching. I just rather just be there and I'm just surprised. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this one, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.